how to strengthen the superior head of the lateral pterygoid and the medial pterygoid. Both of these muscles protract the jaw, but they also elevate the mandible. Okay, so how do we strengthen them? Well, we do exactly that. Once again, we are relaxed in the suprahyoid. This is essential when treating the jaw and strengthening the jaw muscles. And we protract the jaw gently and slowly without any falling back or any aggressive movement. Okay, so you start with the jaw depressed and slightly opened, and you move the jaw forward and gently upwards because both of these muscles have a diagonal, diagonal uh, fiber orientation. So let me show you how it looks like. Once again, I'm using my hand as the resistance. I'm pushing back and gently down with my hand. And I do not allow my chin to deviate to one side. It's a straight movement. It is possible to target one side, but I generally do not uh, show patients that because it doesn't really matter. If one side is slightly more active than the other, who cares? We train them both. That's fine. You just have to trust me on that. Okay, so this is how we do it. So once again, I do not want any rash movements. It has, should be slow and controlled. I do not want to just fall back on the eccentric portion. It is also controlled. I'm not making any faces because that's a clear sign of dysfunction. And I'm relaxed in my suprahyoid. If you do not know if you're relaxing, well, you have to palpate the suprahyoid while you're doing the exercise. And if it's activating, you're going too hard or your neck is not stable. Okay. And I even feel when I'm doing this exercise that I would like to hyperextend the neck. So just have that in the back of your mind. Stay long in the neck to stabilize the, the cervical spine and perform the exercise gently. Uh, quality over quantity, right? As always, have a nice day.